Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Today I'm going to introduce you to our new very cool tool and this will come handy for our AWS crash course. So the topic of the day is mastering the load testing with Locust. And I'm going to introduce to a tool called Locust. So what we have in agenda, introduction to Locust as a tool, how Locust work, key features, and then I'll tell you how to use Locust step by step. And finally, we will get into a demo. So introduction to Locust, right? Locust is an open source load testing tool that allows developers to simulate user behavior and test performance of their application. So it's a load testing tool. It's an open source. It is written in Python and designed to be highly scalable, making it ideal for testing large scale system. And don't mistake it, a lot of established companies also uses Locust as their testing suite. One of the key features of Locust is the ability to generate realistic user traffic. Developer can define user scenario using Python code, which can then be executed by Locust to simulate real world traffic. So it's not like a synthetic, obviously it's a synthetic traffic, but you can introduce variations and make it very much real time, real user traffic. How Locust work? Locust work by simulating user behavior through a process called spawning. Uh, the user scenario defined by developers are used to create virtual users, and you will see that in demo, which are then spawned by Locust to generate traffic. As a virtual user perform actions, Locust record the response time and other matrices. These matrices can be used to identify bottlenecks and optimize performance of the application. Key feature, in addition to scalability and realistic user traffic generation, Locust offers several other key features. These include support for distributed load testing, real-time monitoring and reporting, and also have a very nice integration with CICD like Jenkins and Travis. Locust has a very nice web, uh, user-friendly web interface. So if you are starting and you are not a developer or you do not feel yourself comfortable with Python, you can still get started with a very simple to use web interface. And I'll show that to you in demo. So how to use Locust? This are the steps we are going to follow step by step during our demo. What you need to do first is you want to install Locust. So either I'll show you the GitHub page demo, you can actually uh, clone Get the GitHub and install it from there, or maybe you can simply do pip install Locust on your development machine. I highly advise you to create a virtual environment for Locust before you install it. Create the test script. Locust uses Python script to define the load testing scenario. So this is a little bit advanced. Uh, all the test scenarios they are located in Locust file.py, and when you install Locust, this file comes by default you if if you are a developer feel free to tinker the file or you can use it as is without understanding the nitty-gritty of the file okay in this file you define the behavior of the virtual user and such as task they should perform number of users to simulate any custom logic required for your test so it's it's very flexible you can define your own uh, test script user scenario Third step is define task function. Inside your test script, which is again locusfile.py, you define task functions such uh, that represent the action of virtual user will perform during load test. These functions can include making HTTP request, and that's what we will be doing. We will be sending HTTP request to our application, which is hosted on AWS, and we will sending this HTTP request to the load balancer, not to the real application because that's uh, the URL or that's the information is being published by the application. Uh, so define your text function. You can say uh, HTTP request, sending data, interacting with your application API and so on. So it's very versatile. So once you have the Locust installed, what you can do, you can start Locust uh, by going to that uh, directory using command or test script called locust-f locustfile.py or you can simply type locust because it is alias to this script and it will start the process. 
once the process is available, you will see that the web interface comes live and it will be available to access at http colon localhost colon 8089. So look on your local machine port 8089, the web server will be started. From there, you can configure number of user and to simulate hash rate and other things. So once you have the web UI available, it's very, very easy to uh, work with that. Then you start your test um, in Locus Web UI. You say how many user you want to simulate, what is the rate you want, and where you want to send the request, all those things, and just simply start the test. You can monitor the test. While the test is running, Locus Web UI will display real-time stats, including number of requests per second, response time, failure. So this dashboard, dashboard, it could show you in real time how your test is doing. And at the end, you can actually download the test report as well. Finally, once your load test is complete, you can stop or it will stop automatically given the time uh, you mentioned during the test. All right. Pretty easy. Uh, let me before we go to demo. Let me show you a couple of uh, UI is a uh, links. So this is locust.io. You can go to this website and make yourself familiar about locust, how it works, and all those things. So this is the de facto. But other than that, please bookmark this GitHub page. It's locust.io-locust, and I'm going to put the link in description. So from here you can actually come and clone the file and you can read about the various thing what is locus how to write user test scenario if you are a developer you you can customize it but don't worry even if you are not not a developer it's super easy to uh, to use it so now let's go to our here we are for our demo and uh, for our demo you can see i have already installed locus from the github clone and I am on the phone, that same folder. These are the files available. As you can see, I'm using a virtual environment because that's that's best. You may have some custom packages, so it's always best to use a virtual environment. So you can see there is a locus file.py and single user stages. All those Python scripts are there. I can start my locust using locust f and the localhost py, but that is also aliases using locust. All right. As soon as I start Locust, as you can see, starting web interface, local at port 8081. So let's go and uh, access this. So I'm going to simply type 8081. This is my Locust UI. As you can see, uh, there is no host and but it is in ready. So this is the first time when you log in. There are, this, this is the form you will be presented with. Start new load test. What you can do, number of users, you can start with a definite number of users, 1, 10, 100. Spawn rate, users started per second. So once you start with, say, number of user equal to 1, then you can mention what will be the spawn rate, how many users you want to add per second, right? So I can say, uh, start with one user, but spawn rate is also 1. That means every second, add one more user. So on the t equal to 0 only one request we are sending but at t are equal to 2 we are start sending two requests three requests and so on right linear spawning this is the host where you want to send your request make sure that you use the right syntax http colon www and then the fqdn so because that's how the script is coded advanced option here is the runtime so if you want to run your test for a definite time and get it stop automatically. You can mention runtime here, 10 second, 20 second in hours, right? Or what you can do, you can simply run the test and stop it manually whenever you are done. So let's start our test. And for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, bring the load balancer IP address uh, because previously you have seen in AWS crash course, we created a auto scaling group, EC2 application phase by load balancer. So I'm going to uh, send request to the load balancer IP address, uh, or sorry, F, uh, FQDN and create a load test. So let me just put the load balancer address here and we can say start spawning. But 
you can imagine you can see i haven't used the right notation so if i don't use the right notation what happened charge swarm one status test is running and it is running against this host am i seeing anything here no nope. let's stop it and see what is the problem okay here you can see on the console invalid url right we did you mean http colon colon so now let me copy this because it's giving me suggestion right so second time what we can do instead of this we can use the new url and let's run it for 30 seconds this as soon as we have the right syntax you can see one test is running and we are getting request per second this view is aggregate what is the average millisecond latency and all those things you can also see the chart a nice chart request per second uh, success versus failure so this is the chart we, I, we don't have any failure because um, the service is reachable and as you can see request per second keep on going and this is my response time you can see there is a nice representation of response time median response time 95 percentile so we are interested in median response time 110 millisecond which is really good even if you are running some kind of like a voice application and this is stopped why because we said run it for only 30 seconds so this tell me that my request was successful and this is how the chart looked like let's go to other tabs there was no failure so that's why it's shown here exceptions no exceptions current ratio ratio per user class total ratio this zero percent but what i want to show you is a download data so whatever uh, chart or stats you have seen here you can actually go ahead and download it you can download it as a csv and uh, you can say download report but download report is a again ui based not much uh, um, so this is html not very useful what you would like to do actually is request as status.csv and yeah, let me open it for you so it will just show you the stats this stat in csv format as you can see right so this is locust i hope uh, you enjoyed learning this tool and you're going to use it uh, in your aws journey if you happen to do that please do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in next video in CloudWatch demo where we are going to actively use this tool uh, to trigger some alarm. Thank you and stay tuned.